the technology and the eccentrics and all that is there's a lot of 1855 but we have newer air brakes. The George Westinghouse came out with those closer to 1870, so we have some modern mix with it, the original. This is called an American real fast because the British engines didn't hold on to the American tracks because they were bouncing around a lot more than the, the rock-based British ones. So these have a better suspension that can handle the, the undulating American railroad tracks and the front track. The truck actually can go side to side to sense the curve and then bring the engine around. Also, when the engines came from Crown, they always set them a little different or there were two going to a, a location. For instance, on green, you can see we have three steam domes. On blue, we have two steam domes. Uh, the bells sound just a little bit different and a challenge I have for guests when they come to the park is to listen to the whistles. These are really high end, what are called six chime Nathan steam whistles on here. And they can have a little um, deflector plate on the inside so they can sound different from each other. So my, my challenge to guess is figure out which whistle they are hearing from across the park. They can learn which engine it is and they also can learn the pattern of steam whistles. For instance, two shorts is we are starting Two longs are short and a long is a crossing. One long is a, approaching a station. So the challenge is from anywhere in the park, which train is it and where are they and what are they doing?